Welcome YouTubers and today I have got a really quick uh, install of a new kernel. Um, this kernel is con called Elemental X. I uh, recently wrote a little bit about Elemental X and the Franco kernel in my blog. Um, so today what I'm going to do is on my Nexus 7 here I'm going to install it. And the reason why I chose to install Elemental X is because I have multi-ROM installed on my device. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have a specific kernel, okay, with the uh, hard boot patch, okay. So, on this uh, multi-ROM uh, XDA forum, it's talked about uh, what kernels are out there, and I was like, you know what, this is my stock ROM. I would like to see if I can flash a kernel on here that might be really neat. I could play some of my games over here with, uh, you know, without this thing getting too hot or starting to glitch or having any problems like that. So. Um, I chose the Franco kernel and the um, Elemental X, which is, uh, I just have it downloaded. So, and I'll have the link below, okay? What I have here is, under my file store, it's really cool because Elemental X has got like a like an aroma installer, kind of gives you some options on how you want to um, custom tailor. So I got under kernels here, I have Elemental X right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back to my recovery and I'm going to go ahead and flash this. Now there's probably other ways you can flash this with certain apps and all that stuff, but I'm going to go back to my recovery and show you guys how I like to do things a lot of times and that's just to flash it straight from the recovery right onto my uh, whatever ROMs I have installed or my stock ROM. So um, go ahead and let us boot up. I'll be right back. All right, I am back now, and I'm going to wait a minute, I guess. All right, here we go. It's up and running. Let's see what we do, what we can do. Okay, so now that we're up here, we're on our stock system, okay? Before you do anything, once again, also always, always, always go ahead and do yourself a backup. You know, if you don't have one, you need to get one done because so many people mess things up because they, they do this stuff improperly or they don't read the right information and something goes wrong. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, now I'm going to go to install. I'm going down to my kernels. I want to do Elemental X, okay? I'm going to go ahead and flash it. Now check this out. Boom. That's just so awesome. It says, hey, there you go. Let's make some, make some changes here or tailor it the way you want. So uh, it tells you you're about to flash it. Yes, press next to continue. I agree that I could mess my you know device up things like that that's cool it's fine alright next okay here's a little change log going on tells you all about the previous versions and stuff and what they've changed of course that's why I change log okay so now this kernel will allow you to choose hardware settings that may not work with your device okay so I uh, gives you a little bit of a note I'm cool with that I'm gonna go ahead and move on alright this is probably the only kernel out there where you can sit there and adjust the frequency of each core all right, so you got like four cores, I guess, so zero, one, two, and three. So anyway, I'm going to stick with the default because I'm not the one that kind of messes with that stuff. So I'm going to leave that alone. All right, select maximum CPU frequency. Um, you know, once again, these different frequency levels can, um, you know, you can look these up and you can read the form too where this is linked and it talks a little bit about those kind of frequencies and what you can do with that stuff. So I'm just going to stick with the stock because I feel when they say that stock this is this is what they're wanting not excuse me not what they're wanting but uh, kind of like a recommendation if you don't know what you're doing so we're gonna move on alright um, set CPU optimization level I'm sticking with Elemental X because I don't need the stock I want to try their good stuff so I'm gonna move on with that alright auto undervolting okay I'm just gonna stick with what they chose here there's different undervolting you can, uh, undervolt settings you can read all about it like it says up here, unvolting may cause instability. So if you have any problems, I'm going to show you something really cool after this on how you can make adjustments. So we're just going to move on with that. Um, thermal settings, the throttling, I'm just going to leave it at default because I just, I don't know, you could probably do a cool, but I don't think I'd be doing uh, running it hot. So we'll leave that alone. Let's go to next. I'm going to leave my default 450 megahertz for my GPU frequency. Um, see these not recommends you can try it but you never know I'm just going to go with their default because once again it should be their best product 
So let's go ahead and move on to the next. Um, GPU governor, on demand or simple. Uh, their governors are, you, you, you're you going to have to just, you can, well, there's only two choices, but you can look up the governors and what kind of governors there are out there. And you can, if you're interested in those, there's different kernels with several different m modes or whatever you can choose from. But I'm going to stick with the stock here on demand. All right. The uh, input output scheduler here, here, you got, you know, CFQ, which is like stock, what it, basically came with which is um, kind of like a um, completely fair queuing um, you got read over write you got the deadline you've got the uh, what's it file IOPS scheduler here and then SIO anyway I'm just gonna stick with deadline because I'm just gonna go with that it's a it's a pretty good overall so I'm just gonna move on to that okay this is really neat this is the cool stuff here sweep to wake sweep to sleep nah I'm going to take it off, but if you swept across there, you wake it up, you sweep across, it'll sleep. Sweep to sleep only? Short sweep? Nah. Double tap to sleep in landscape mode? Don't care about that. Double tap to wake? I like that. Power button toggles that stuff off? Yes, because you can hit that button and save yourself a little bit more juice. I'm going to go back up here and put sweep to sleep only, and I'll show you what that's all about, okay? Magnetic cover, this thing is in a poetic magnetic cover flip case. So when you flip it over, it turns it off. It, it'll disable the mat, um, the uh, sweep to wake and double tap to wake feature. So you can turn it on if you wish. When you slap it over there, it's not waiting for you to double tap to turn it back on. So that's your choice. Next, um, other settings here, enable G-Boost. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't worry about that governor there. Max screen off frequency, that's cool. You got USB fast charge if you got like one of those um, OTG cables, but also an a split like a Y on there so you can charge at the same time it's pretty neat uh, disable magnetic on off that's like that cover that's on here you can disable that feature um, your file system support you can enable a USB OTT charge mode uh, allows charging um, in a USB host mode something like that so battery life extender which is kinda cool because you can adjust like instead of going up to 100 percent each and every time you try to charge this thing overnight or whenever you decide to charge it it only goes to 94 percent which is pretty sweet um, I do that on my um, laptop anyway I, I, it only goes up to like 80 percent or something like that so disable file sync nah I don't want to worry about doing any of that kind of stuff so it says ready to install install elemental X yes boom I'm gonna hit it and there it goes it's installing the kernel Extracting and bam, there you go. Successful finish. Okay, whoop, there you go. Now it's going to restart your uh, device. I'll be right back once it restarts. Okay, oh, I actually had to hold down the power button um, long enough for the tablet to restart. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that, about that at the very end there, but needless to say, it went ahead and restarted so just holding the power button down it might work for you it might not nothing for you to freak out over so this is going to go ahead and boot up and then you'll be um, in the your kernel will be here we go okay let's go ahead and go to settings okay you see how it's pretty snappy it's doing its thing you know while it's still trying to load out anything I've got running so let's go to about tablet kernel version look at that elemental X right there boom okay so that's really cool. Good to go. Now, just so we got a quick idea of what it can do. Boop. Sweep to sleep. Double tap to wake up. It's like, hello, wake up. So there you go. That's how that works. Now, real quick, before I get going, in the forum, it also talks about this. But if you said, man, you know, I would like to try a different setting. I'd like to see how this might work or that might work. All you got to do is go back to your, you know, like say ES File Explorer browser. Go over here to your system, your device here, ETC, Elemental X Config, Note Editor, now check this out, Sweep to Sleep, or Sweep to Wake, you know, you got your settings 0, 1, 2, you got your short sleep, I got it 0, you can put it at 1 to start it, you can make these changes, just go up here in the corner, you hit edit, you make your edit, you save it, you move on, orientation, I mean all, pretty much all the things that you just did, in the front there is now logged right here and you can make all your adjustments so it's pretty cool alright so I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, video here and um, you know flash some flash some kernels have some fun alright like and subscribe thank you